hello guys welcome to my channel welcome to mini's food tv hope you guys are doing well today i'm going to be showing you how i make my yam porridge for my family i also call it my obonke yam porridge The ingredients I'm going to be needing today are the tuber of yam, grilled mackerel, crayfish, chopped tomatoes, onion, seasoning, palm oil, scotch bonnet pepper, kale vegetable, garlic and ginger paste, some sweet pepper and lastly chicken stock. So the first thing I need to do now is to uh, complete my prep by cutting the sweet peppers, the onion and scotch bonnet pepper. My kale vegetable has already been washed and cut, including the yam as well. However, I have left the yam in cold water because I want it to retain its color before using it to cook. What I need to do is to Put the palm oil in the pot and add the onion and stir. Add the garlic and ginger paste. You guys know I love my garlic and ginger paste. I never cook anything without my garlic and ginger paste. Add the bell peppers and scotch bonnet. Continue to stir for a few minutes. Then you can add the chopped tomatoes as well. After adding the chopped tomatoes, Add your seasoning, the salt, the crayfish, and the grilled mackerel fish. Then stir. So after stirring, leave for two to three minutes, then you can add the yam into the pot at this stage. In terms of the crayfish guys, it's a personal choice. So for me, when I'm cooking my porridge, I like to use my crayfish unblended. I don't like it blended. I just It's just a personal choice for me, okay? So when you're trying yours out or when you're cooking yours, you can blend your crayfish after adding the yam you add the chicken stock by adding the chicken stock it takes your porridge to a whole different level guys so it is very important you add chicken stock to your yam porridge instead of adding just plain water to your yam porridge leave for 15 to 20 minutes to allow the yam to cook until it is tender when it is tender add the kale vegetable and guys that is how i make my yam porridge for my family if you follow this recipe you will thank me later this is a whole different level of preparing yam porridge, which I call my Obunge yam porridge. <laughs> Guys, you can see how beautiful it is with the kale vegetable, the colors all blended together. It looks so yummy. I'm already salivating.
There is a saying that there is no food for a lazy person. Guys, I am not lazy, so therefore I'm going to settle down and eat this yam porridge. It's yummy. It has all the beautiful flavors you would think of. You need to try out this recipe, guys. Thank you to all those who have subscribed to my channel and if you have not subscribed to my channel please do well to subscribe like share and comment and do not forget to put on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be among the first to know about it until same time next week stay blessed bye